Oh, uh, this video is to talk about conscious living, conscious dying. Excuse me. <clears throat> uh, I've been asked to make this video about, uh, by a man who I greatly admire and respect, uh, who's called Peter Goebel, who is the chair of the Buddhist uh, Hospice Trust charity. I believe the Buddhist Hospice Trust charity has been established for over two decades. So this is this video is about the conscious living, conscious dying, which is a project to attempt to make some contribution, some small contribution, or even a big contribution, towards the palliative care system in the UK. Uh, I've heard from very reliable sources that the palliative care system in the UK. Uh, due to shortages from the money, uh, should do, due to uh, financial shortcoming, that the system is becoming increasingly medicalised and uh, decreasingly personalised, which is very worrying for the people that are looking for care and compassion and who are in the palliative care system. So anyway, uh, I'd like to talk about conscious living, conscious dying, and this is this is a kind of like. This is a, 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 I want to make a contribution to the Conscious Living, Conscious Dying project that I actually wasn't planning to make, but I want to make it now. It's, it's a kind of, this video, if you like, it's a better late than never video. It's a coming out video. <clears throat> I want to confess something. You know, like, honesty is the name of the game, and honesty inspires people and pushes things forward and makes things happen that otherwise wouldn't happen. And if you look at other other <coughs> organisations that are in, that are connected with the palliative care system, for example, pain pain management uh, pain management uh, agencies, or just all sorts of things. If you look at the histories of these movement you movements, you'll find that honesty often inspired people to to begin movements that are now quite established so I want to make I want to say something in this video that I haven't that I should have said years ago and it's to do with the uh, it's to do with palliative care pain management is a big big part of the palliative care system and I want to confess about pain <coughs> my pain this is t video's taken me fifth. This confession's taken me fifty-three years to make, and it's it's been a painful confession. But I want to come out uh, on this video and say that uh, I've been, uh, what do you call it? I've been a chronic emotion. I've suffered chronic emotional pain, emotional pain all my life, uh, and I've never, I've never really admitted it. I've kind of been hiding from myself, but I'm coming out now. And I'm confessing to you who's watching this video and to my, mostly to myself that I'm coming out, I'm confessing that I've been a chronic, I've suffered with chronic pain all my life. I hope now that I've been honest and said this and, and if you like emotionally and possibly psychically and spiritually crossed a bridge, uh, I hope something will happen. I have a gut feeling what's going to happen a few steps down the line for the Conscious Living, Conscious Dying project. Uh, sorry, hold on, I just want to look at the time. Uh, yep, yeah, got seven, seven, seven minutes left. Uh, I've, myself and uh, Peter Peter Goebel, the chair of sorry, the chair of the Buddhist Hospice Trust, we've had contact recently. Had contact with people that are connected with another hospice. This hospice is very well established and does a fantastic job. Uh, so I have a feeling that I would like to help these people. I would like conscious living, conscious dying, to try to support the good work that these people have been doing, and to support the good work that this organ, this the organisation that these people are connected with. I would I personally would really like to support them and if possible sorry I'm just move, moving my holding the camera with my other hand. <coughs> I would like conscious living, conscious dying to support these are this these other people and the, the fantastic work that they are doing. So I don't know how my honesty, which I'm very late in confessing, I don't know how it's going to help, but and actually, no, I'm telling a lie. I do know it's going to. I do have a feeling how it's going to help. How my confessing will affect other people. 
uh, honesty just inspires people and moves people and although I might look like I've been quite casual in this video to confess it's taken me a long time to do it and you know like people only go to the dentist to submit themselves to the pain of the drill well I've only submitted myself to confessing because I've been suffering a lot of emotional pain and I'll be honest someone gave me this someone gave me this article which I don't know if you can see but it's the full the full article is about is, is about living with chronic pain and I read the article and it just made me aware of the need for honesty the need for confession so this is just a this is a crazy video just a, a crazy contribution uh, towards the conscious living conscious dying project and it's it's just I mean it's just a, a crazy I mean how is this video going to really contribute towards conscious dying conscious living conscious dying the only way it can contribute is if people can recognize honesty and acknowledge honesty I know that the people the, the, the core group of people that have been supporting the conscious living conscious dying project <clears throat> I know that they are committed to honesty I, I've known them long enough <clears throat> to trust them I believe the two people I met recently they also are honest people and committed to being honest uh, I don't believe they would be doing <clears throat> what they do unless they were committed to honesty I don't think they'd be well I know they wouldn't be able they just wouldn't be able to do it so I trust and what I know about them the little bit I know they seem to be honest so I, I judge I judge I trust my experience so this is just an honest video to try to if you like to set the ground for the next step of conscious living conscious dying and working with other people just to set the ground for honesty not just honesty and risk taking and uh, all that kind of stuff just kind of like what in the Buddhist tradition uh, the Vajrayana tradition calls crazy uh, crazy crazy wisdom or foolish wisdom the thing about being willing to make a fool of yourself or to look stupid uh, and I felt stupid confessing this I, 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 <coughs> I felt stupid so I offer I offer this video and I don't know what's going to happen but actually I do know what's going to happen I do actually have strong intuition about what's going to happen in the future uh, my intuition <coughs> my intuition is that more good people will support come on board and support the project that we're doing and I want to support the project that the two other people are involved in I really want to support that and to support the good work that they've been doing and that they will do <clears throat> so that's what I think that's what I think will happen okay so I offer this video uh, humbly for your consideration and your contemplation okay thank you bye